obsessed with what she does for a living, not at all focused on her personal life, you know, for better or worse, that just is not her focus in life. She's completely just total, total uh, tunnel vision on her professional world. And I thought that was really compelling. We're not tracking her love life throughout the course of the movie. We are just watching someone who has spent her entire life totally obsessed with what she does. She's so good at it. She's brilliant. She's achieved so many things. I would say that Megan is about a really brilliant roboticist, Gemma, uh, who is able to program and create a robot doll named Megan um, to help her in becoming the new parent guardian of her niece, Katie, when her sister and brother-in-law die tragically. Um, and it is the story of this misfit household uh, with a child, an adult, and a robot. The question then is, okay, if you have a machine that's been built by humans uh, and it's it's allowed to learn kind of autonomously, um, what are they going to learn and what are they going to do with that information? Without any context, without any parenting, so to speak, what does that knowledge do? How does it get ingested and digested and then, you know, repurposed? And that is one of the driving questions of the movie. She was just in a corner of a very dark stage, surrounded by a prop, like with a prop table next door. And she was just sort of like this. But her eyes were open and her head was up and she was standing upright. And I just was like, ooh, this is so creepy. <laughs> I was like, she is here. She is upsetting. She feels very real. Her hair is perfect. Her makeup is flawless. Like, this is going to be, this is going to be freaky. She just felt really real. I think just from seeing even the poster, you kind of know how it's going to work out, which is part of the fun of being in this genre. Um, we know that the audience kind of suspects how this is going to go, and part of our job is to deliver on that imagination of, of what this dynamic is going to look like. Uh, and I think we've done a good job of that. <laughs>